Yeah. All right, I'm on this job here today to take care of a drainage issue on this driveway. So you can see there's a bunch of water on this side of the driveway. And the last time it rained was two days ago. And the homeowner said when it was raining, this entire section of driveway, probably like 40, 50 feet here, the water was just running right over it. And she didn't want that to happen. So I actually looked at this job a few months ago. And it was kind of like this. And we were questioning if there was even a culvert pipe in here. And then then I didn't get the job. She, someone else ended up bringing in this load of gravel right here. And then they cleaned, they found the pipe and then cleaned it out. But I think the pipe that's in here is, is undersized. Um, you know, just kind of based on the amount of water that's... I mean, it is working. It's not clogged up. But it's just not enough water is getting through it. And it... I don't know, it's maybe a 8 inch pipe in there or 4 inch or whatever it is, it's not big enough. It's alright. So, let's uh, let's get let's get this in here. Alright, so it may not look like it in the camera, but the water level on that side is probably at least a foot higher than it is over here.
All right, so I just finished that up. So that went pretty smoothly. You know, the pipe is definitely working before the water level was pretty much at the height of this driveway. Now it's down probably almost two feet. So there's the water going into the pipe. And now you can see through the pipe it's got just a little bit of a downhill pitch to it. So that's probably perfect. You know, if it's going uphill, what ends up happening is like this side will fill up with dirt and stuff and, you know, start clogging up the pipe. So I'm sure everyone on YouTube is going to say that it's not deep enough. And I agree this time. This does need more gravel on top of it. That was as deep as I could get that in there. I was hitting bedrock and you no way I was getting through it unless the jackhammer was here or something. But I feel the pipe is at the right height anyway. You know, really a load or two of gravel on top of here, bring this whole area up quite a bit would be the way to handle this. So I'm gonna suggest, you know, it doesn't need it right away. I wouldn't drive a cement truck over this right now but light cars and stuff they're never gonna hurt it and then you know let it settle down a little bit and then maybe next week or something I'll bring in a load of gravel spread it out on top of this and it will be fine so I almost brought my Komatsu here to do this job but once I picked up that pipe from the pipe place I was like oh I don't feel like doing all this digging it's it would have taken three times as long so I just brought this machine here instead you know, that didn't take that long. That wasn't that bad. All right, this old pipe here had a metal pipe in it. And it looked like it was a, probably a one-foot pipe. But I think what always happens with this is it these rust out. And then it like you lose a good amount of the water flow. Because it like fills up with dirt and collapses. So I'm never a fan of these metal pipes. I always seem to be changing them. You know, those plastic ones never had an issue with one of those so I think that's definitely the way to go. Right, so I'm back here a few weeks later to check on it. There's a few potholes that formed so I talked her into bringing a load of gravel in here so to cover this up. But you can see the pipe here is still you know perfectly round which is good. And she has a garbage truck that comes in here every week. So that's driven over at least two or three times now, and, and they're pretty heavy. So to see this still in good shape, that's a really good thing. Sometimes when you have stubborn potholes, um, just filling them up with gravel doesn't fix them. But if you put a big flat rock in them and cover them up, Sometimes that usually does a much better job.
All right, so I just finished up raking that out. So that looks pretty good. You know, it definitely smoothed it out quite a bit. And got a little more gravel on top of this pipe. So that was only like just under four tons of gravel. All right, on to the next job.